Hey guys, easy pals back again. Now I know I've been doing a lot of videos. Uh, also, I I get a lot of views from doing actually important and good videos. And um, I just want to apologize for posting all those videos about fountain fun. And unfortunately, I still actually have one more video to upload from that series. Um, it's just because when I meet like new people. They always come up with stuff, and they always, like, really want me to keep on recording, and, you know, um, it was fun, and I actually kind of wanted to record it, but I knew that, you know, when I did upload it, some of my friends might enjoy it, might find it entertaining, but it was never gonna be something, a big banger for my YouTube channel, and... I'm trying to make more actually important videos. So this video is on the Lego Last Jedi, Lego Star Wars The Last Jedi sets. For all you guys, um, personally, I've seen a lot of really popular YouTubers uh, covering these sets without getting copyright strikes. And like, I'm talking about like very popular YouTubers. So. And also the sets are coming out really soon, so like, who really cares? I'm going to show you the leaked images, and the prices, and all the information. So, here's your first and cheapest set, out of the actual sets, not like the buildable figures, is the Resistance Transport Pod. Now, personally, um, I think this, I think, after that whole attack, Finn, from what we can see from trailers and leaked information, Finn has been taken by this girl who's a technician on a transport pod where he's still, like, asleep because you see him in the trailer being transported through hyperspace, still asleep, so I think the whole marketing thing, uh, like, on the box art, showing Finn, like, inside there piloting it, I think that is inaccurate, but it's fine. I think this is also the cheapest way to get them, but in my opinion, it's, all, it's also kind of sad that now the cheapest sets with these newer movies always have to be like a really higher price. First it was 20 with the race beater bike, then it was uh, like 29.99, now it's 30. Um, but like in my opinion, um. Like this definitely looks like a twenty dollar set, but if you look at the price, if you look at the piece for price ratio, it's just a little bit off. It's not as off as you'd think. I don't know why there are so many pieces in this small little build, but in my opinion, this actually looks like a good vehicle, and I probably will pick this up. So here are the play features. So you can see there's a stud shooter and spring-loaded cannon. There's a placer BB-8, and I just realized BB-8 comes at this set, and the cockpit opens and closes. You can also see a new minifigure for that new character, um, and a uh, thermal detonator there. Which I'm imagining there is a storage compartment for that, uh, is probably shown somewhere here that I'm just missing. Guys, this is one of the sets that I'm really excited to get. And also one of the vehicles that this set makes me excited to see in the actual Last Jedi movie. Now, this is 55 bucks, uh, no, 55 euros and 50 bucks, first order heavy scout walker. And, you know, originally I thought this was like a turret on like, uh, oh, like a sharp rocks, but no, those are actually, uh, like, legs and i find it interesting how they're like grinding around as it's moving and you can see the walkers in the background um which makes me think the well obviously this set takes place um on the battle of crate uh which is actually interesting which means those walkers and those weird little speeder things are not the only vehicles we're going to see on crate personally this is a set i will be picking up towards the release. I, I might be a little late, but considering school's in September and stuff, and I, I really don't want to wait and like get the set super early. Oh, and I'm not even going to get all of them at once. I'm only going to get the, uh, the Resistance Transport Pod, this set, and then all 
I'll get the rest for Christmas, my birthday, graduation, you know the stuff, you know the drill. Okay guys, so I only showed this one, there was a picture like this with the last set, but I only showed it so you guys can get a really close view of what the minifigures are, because the last one, you know, didn't come with as much minifigures, you can see General Hux without his hat in the corner, and I definitely think... You know, General Hux only has his hat on for that one scene, so it makes sense that they have him without his hat. Just a crew member, army builder, and a flamethrower trooper, and a regular resistance trooper. Overall, I'm really excited for this set, and you can see a spring-loaded shooter up there, which is probably in the flight Okay, you guys, so you can see this compared to a minifigure, and I'm starting to realize the overall size of it. Um, I didn't actually go through these images looking for stuff to show, uh, like in between the stuff. I'm actually going full throttle, uh, which I usually don't do, but, you know, it's fun. Um, but, like, look at the overall the size and spring-loaded shooters, the minifigure up there. This is a very interesting set, I must admit. Also, with the red and white, it definitely reminds me of the 2009 eight star boxes which that wow like i i've never actually opened up a lego set besides the going off the battle pack with a white box i don't know why it's like it, it's just different usually they have like the dark blue dark blue for rogue one and the red for force awakens but let's move on okay guys this is resistance bomber this is a 100 this is a one hundred dollars no one hundred and ten dollars set um so yeah this is a set that i'm probably gonna end up getting for christmas um personally i like it um i might i'm not sure if this is what is like a very underscale version of a bigger ship or if this is supposed to be you know those big huge ships that you see um not they're not actually that huge but they're, they're definitely big compared to like tie fighters and stuff i'm not sure if that like the republic the new republic command ship i'm not sure if it's that or if it's like a smaller thing it's just the shape of that personally i really do uh like the design of this um you can see just a ton of resistance members down there uh, you also get that new character that you see in the Comic-Con trailer and probably some other new characters that we don't know about yet. So, hey guys, I definitely think a lot of these, um, it's always with the newer sets that they're very overpriced and I can def you can definitely see that. But also, this thing can balance and why, are, why is it shooting those ball things? I'm um, definitely interested in why they're shooting the ball things, but like it's big, uh, yeah, it's definitely big, but I definitely think that this should have been 60 or 70, not 100 or 110, as you can see in the bottom, uh, bottom right corner. You can see like the back of it with like the red and uh it, it does look really cool or maybe this no that that's it's a back but like you can just see all the play features and apparently this bombs those little ball things personally i would have appreciated a little build for the bombs maybe using travis bricks oh my gosh travis Tra travis bricks are so useful in case you don't know what a travis brick is um it's this with the all studs on every side. They are amazing. Um, but, you know, it is nice to get those orbs, especially for some animations I've been working on. I'll show you a teaser for Wings of Fiber episode 3 at the very end of the video. Um, so yeah, let's move on to... Hey guys, uh, this is what I'm talking about. The last at, -AT was 120, and this actually almost looks smaller, and it's 140, 130, that's like, <sighs> this is why I hope my books sell well, even, no, it's not actually, because I have a pride in what I do in terms of stuffing worlds and stuff, but this is like, 
Lego, like, I understand, like, once 2018 comes and everyone saw the movie, it always happens. The sets get cheaper. And that's why, in my opinion, if you're trying to watch out for your money, I don't recommend getting these sets as soon as they come out. I know it's fun, it gets you a lot of views, but don't do it. It's a waste of your money because soon after everyone sees the movie, everyone's going to be buying the sets and they're going to be really low priced. So this is why I don't buy things as soon as they come out unless it's stuff like Pokemon because, you know, four bucks a pack. You always know it's like four bucks a pack. Um, but, like, I'm not saying Pokemon perfect or anything, but, uh, yeah, this is the Walker. It's nice to, I'm actually gonna wait until, like, it shows that clear picture, but it's nice that we actually get Ray and Poe, and, uh, according to, to some images, Poe's actually on, like, those weird speeder things on Cree. I actually kind of wish we got a set of that. I hope we get a set of that in, uh, like, the, the Winter Wave. 2018. I really do hope we get a set of that. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna move on to where you can see. I can see that this is overall very interesting because you have a resistance trooper, Poe Dameron, a first order, either a first order stormtrooper or a first order snow trooper. I'm pretty sure it's a first order snow trooper. And this, the pilots for this. Um, but also, why would it be a snow trooper? Because this isn't hot. This is just, like, white sand. It always gets me confused, guys. But, you know, this vehicle, we knew this vehicle existed, uh, existed ever since, like, one of the Force Awakens trailers. So, like, it's cool that we finally got it. But, also, is that, like, a, uh, Imperial symbol? Is this, like, a old Imperial vehicle that... It just saved away for the first order. I'm really not sure. Tell me what you think. It was actually a stormtrooper, a uh, snowtrooper. You could see the inside there a bit closer. Let's see uh, that the little stud shooter thing over there. Um, yeah, it looks like a good set in my opinion. Um, yeah. <laughs> I, uh, once the release of The Last Jedi gets closer and closer, I will actually be doing a lot of videos about it. Just, just, you know. Guys, yeah, this is the First Order Star Destroyer. 150 bucks, my god. Um, by the looks of it, it's gonna be even smaller than the actual Star Destroyer. Uh, the Imperial Star Destroyer, which I do actually have in my collection. Even though it's in need of repairs. A lot of people are so excited for this set, and in my opinion, I'm not with the hype. It just looks really small, and I'm not saying that as a bad thing, as running out of shelving space, small sets are a good thing, but in my opinion, it really, this is a set, as I said, I'll wait for the price to go down. I'm not gonna get this set as soon as the sets come out. Um. But I don't know how he got it, but this YouTuber actually got the Supreme Leader Snoke minifigure from this set early. And you'll see that minifigure more clearly uh, right after, uh, yeah, right in like the next little thing that I'm going to show you. 